This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with William Hill. Delighted to be joined by my good friend, Mr. Akib Fiaz, here in Liverpool. How are you, mate? Oh, good, mate. Glad to see you here. Always, mate. Getting the badge in. Oh, mate. I you... know, oh, yeah. Somehow, some way, round the neck, we've got to do it. Um, another outing for you. Nice and active. Obviously, had the brilliant performance in Abu Dhabi. Uh, how do you reflect? Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed that the whole week, really. It was a uh, good, good holiday, really. Uh, no, I'm joking. It was, uh, yeah, my best performance, I think, by far. And I think that's through the activity I've had in the ring. So, on Saturday, hopefully, well, I know, really, I- I'll be better. So, I'm looking forward to it. Saturday night, what do you know? Obviously, just speaking to some of your team there, uh, Dean Dodge comes in with a good record. Uh, quite a good fight for yourself on paper. Yeah, on paper, it's a great fight. Um, but I feel like you see the best of me again with an opponent like him. Um, you know, I've done it before where I've boxed people with winning records and, and English opponents where you know they're coming to win and they're not going to quit. So um, I've done it as early as my second fight, so I'm ready. I'm more than ready for, for these sort of step-ups now and challenges. Talk a little bit about your sort of 2022. I mean, obviously, with the matchroom stable and then see you on the runs with Eddie recently, everything seemed very positive for you. feel like matchroom is the right team for you going forward? Everything's cementing itself in the right place? Yeah, you know, you know what? They get a lot of stick, don't they? But for me, they've been amazing. You know, they, they, I went through a lot. You know, last year, at the start of last year, I was going through, you know, dark times, and I'd come to the shows just to sort of get a break and, and get away from it all. And, and you know, seeing them and, and always them always reassuring me that you know they, they were there for me whenever. And you know, it's not it's not a lot really, but at, for someone when you when you when you're at a low point in your life and, and you're sort of depressed, anxiety, you're going through all sorts. It just lifts your spirits more than that person even knows just by them saying that they're there for you. And, um, you know, th- there's a really, f- real, like, family buzz around around the shows here. And, um, yeah, you know, they've been great to me. And uh, I'm thankful for all the opportunities, you know, that they've given to me. And, you know, and, and, and I'm thankful to God, obviously, most importantly for, you know, giving me this, these sort of platforms and, and then the talent to be here as well, yeah. I could look, obviously we put out a reel this week and sort of, I don't want to sort of dwell and go over the same stuff, but also quite a nice and important message to put out maybe to the people that didn't see the interview last time. Um, obviously your mother no longer with us, but what a great woman she was by the sounds of it. Just could you touch on, for those who haven't seen, what she used to do to make sure that you're in the position that you are today? Yeah, you know, we were talk, talking about it where I used to box before just because I enjoyed it and it was my hobby and I liked to fight. I've always been an aggressive kid, really, but now I'd, I don't just do it for that anymore. Because looking back, I think about all the all the effort my mum had put into me. She, we lived about 40 minutes from the gym, and I know it's going over old ground. She'd drive me there, you know. We were a family. I'm not. We weren't like struggling poor or anything, but we weren't. We didn't have loads of money, you know. We had hard hard times where, you know, I remember the mortgage payments. My dad was struggling. My dad's from Pakistan, really, so him working here was tough. My mum would be scraping together 20p's, 10p's, making sure I had three pounds to go to the gym. So, you know, now I'm here. I'm where I've wanted to be my whole life, you know. I have, like, this chip on my shoulder where I've got to prove everyone, I've got to prove to everyone that, you know, all that was worth it. And, you know, now's my time. I really believe it, yeah. Akib, does this motivate you more than anything? Obviously, it's, it's, I suppose it's you might put it on as a pressure on yourself, but you've got such an incredible team behind you. You've got such a brilliant story that and everything come together. It, it sort of makes a bit of a perfect scenario. Yeah, of course. Um, and you know, nothing's ever perfect, but I genuinely believe that I'm in the best place and the best position possible. And you know, all thanks to the, to God. All, and you know, I just I don't know, Charlie. It's it's hard to put into words. You know what how they were there for me obviously Jamie and Nigel every day I wake up and I had one hand really in essence but I wanted to go to the gym just just to be around the people more than anything not to train not because yeah. I, I wasn't it's fight- a family and an yeah. environment isn't it yeah I wasn't fighting anytime soon I was out of shape and, and my hand was broke so uh, I just wanted to go to the gym and and just go in there every day seeing them people you know really helped me massively and I'm just glad here glad to be here now and, and it's time to make them proud as well of me well, as someone who sees you and gets to spend this time around you in camp, 
Um, and certainly I'm on board the story. I hope other people are too, because it is brilliant. And we are following you and certainly supporting you. Sorry, Dean Dodge, uh, in terms yeah. of Saturday night, I am meant to be impartial, but on this one I've got to support my boy. Um, just finally from me, you're 2023. Uh, I imagine you may be fighting on the June 3 Abu Dhabi bill. Obviously, last time you took some big fans over. I imagine it will be the same again. Um, just excited and, and then maybe push on to titles towards the end of the year? Yeah, most definitely. I feel like another international trip um, this year you know, would be nice. All the teams ready. It was good. Sort of <laughs> went for a jog the other day with Eddie a few weeks ago and um, sort of talking about planning what's, what, you know, the year ahead. And... Yeah, you know, for the first time in my career, I really, I really feel like there's a plan in place, and I've got a goal, certain you know, short-term goals as well, um, and I feel like you're the best of me now. I definitely, agree. I definitely, definitely think that, and um, yeah, it's just good to have have a plan, be active, and I think you'll see the best of me. Akib, top man, always a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you Saturday night. Final message? Yeah, just um, you know, tune in on Saturday night. All, all my people that are travelling over, you know, sad times we're going through at the moment. Everyone's struggling. <laughs> And you know Liverpool, it's not, it's not, it's not Manchester. So you know they're travelling out of the way, taking a, a night away from work. A lot of them. Thank you, Frank. Frank Smith, there, just gassing you up. Yeah, that's that's a weird one. Never does that really. <laughs> thank you very much.